everybody. Welcome to Dream Daddy. This game. Boy, oh boy, we've been having a run around with this game. Okay, let's just explain what happened. So we saved, obviously, and you all saw us save, and it didn't save. I had to figure out what the hell was wrong. So for anyone who has this problem in the future, this is what you do. If your Close saves up, doesn't show delete, up. Delete. Shut up. Delete all saves but the newest one. After do you, you do that, go ahead and start up the game again. When you start up, this time all the saves should reappear from iCloud, and it should, and it should be able to, to uh, have all the saves back to normal. Obviously, delete the ones that you don't need. Alrighty. So, Leon, should we go back to unpacking, or I should we go? No. I literally need a nap right now. But no, we're, we're not doing that one. We just had oh. coffee. Fuck you, I need a nap from what we just did. Let's go get some fresh air. I need a nap. No, we're not choosing that one. I need a nap. Trust me, it's probably the worst choice out of all three of them. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, really? Basically, your daughter will have to move packing on the boxes over just to sit down on a couch. Trust me, it's between unpacking or let's go get some fresh air. Alright, let's go fucking unpacking, because you don't want me to take a goddamn fucking nap. <clears throat> I got a lot on my plate right now. I don't. Did you know that that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress in adults? Right. Uh, is that right? Behind. What? Behind the. Oh, is that right behind? the constant fear that you smell bad and enjoy to polite or polite to tell it or and people everyone's too polite to tell you oh my god there we go i got it is it right behind the constant fear of smelling bad and everyone's too polite to tell you probably do i smell bad <laughs> You're fine, pops. Let's go home. I saw you flinch, you bitch. You lied. No. <coughs> that old man smell. <coughs> oh god, it's a candy smell. She smells like candy. And she smells like candy and hard work of fear. <laughs> I get to work unpacking various boxes, moving around the around the living room. A couple hours pass, and I get. Some good work done. The hey, washer and dryer look at that! unit is both. Shut the fuck up. The washer and dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through our living room without top tripping over boxes. Look how cute! It's like a flamingo. Sion, it's not a flamingo. It's an abaha. Look how cute he is, though. We should give him a name. Fatty. I'm oh, sorry. Fatty. <laughs> How about, uh, what's, what's another- Madam Jaskin! No, 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 what's another good name for, like, have, like, a name for pink, but not pink? Pink. No! We name uh, her Prince. What? We name him Prince. Prince Pink? No, Prince just because, in the, in the sake of my, of one of the best, uh, music creators ever. Okay, his name is Rest Prince! In... Rest in peace, Prince. First vis visitors are ready? Oh, here I'll comes Joseph! I walk over to the door and open it. Hello! Hmm. Oh my god. I, I, you have no idea how much I want to do the stereotypical gay accent. He's actually a father of four. Okay, no, I'm doing it. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. <clears throat> Hello? Hey. Oh, where are, where are my manners? Uh, okay, I can't do it. <laughs> my, oh, my where are my manners? Sorry. I, I'm the next-door neighbor. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I have to... <clears throat> My name is Joseph. I'm next. I'm the next door neighbor. I'll give him Russian accent. Okay, or, that or close, close enough to it. Oh yes, hi. I'm Jean. 
that's what my name is. Oh. Good job there, Jude! We got you! We got Shut up, Candy Girl. I saw the moving van and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christine w wanted me to let you know she br she baked them herself. Oops. Joseph leads in the whispers. Oh. But between you and me, she just sprinkled the in chocolate the chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> they both share a laugh. Laugh. Kids, right? Oh, yeah. I, I like the Russian accent on this guy. I don't know. Wow! I, I, I do like it on him too. Wow, cookies, huh? Since nice to meet you, random guy that has cookies. Joseph hands her the play of cookies with a smile. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks for for the cookies. <laughs> now I'm gonna go smoke some weed and eat these cookies. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Oh. Amanda, come back! And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name's Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Rolls eyes. Daughters are, tr daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. <laughs> Children are just, are just tough in general. Can you hear me alright still? I moved my mic back because I remember last time it was really loud. Yes, I can still hear you. Okay, just check it. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to raise more than two. <clears throat> <laughs> uh -huh. I have four kids. What have you done? <laughs> oh, uh... I meant... Oh. Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my son's life is already t a tailspin. In a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. The face of jeans! <laughs> is the missus around? Is the missus around? Mister, actually. And, uh... No, not anymore. He died. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, no. It's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of the awkward, of awkward we both, of uh, acutely aware of how awkward we both made this. Huh? I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look up Joseph, Joseph quizzically, at, but comply. After this, after a second I hear a knock on the door opening, it, 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 I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for for the cool de sac for the cul de sac and I would love I would love you to come by and meet the rest of my of the neighbors in our community what do you say pal <laughs> that sounds great my daughter Amanda would love to stop by but I love how awkward that just got that he's like here close the door real quick <laughs> Hey, let's pretend like, like this never that happened. Never, that never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, four kids is perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands and seal the deal. Huh? That is the best awkward moment I have ever seen in my life. Right? <clears throat> well, neighbor, I'll see you about 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Alrighty. Don't be late or I'll rip off your face. Oh my god! Good thing, neighbor. Adam tried to call me. What the hell? 40 minutes ago. What? Call him! He can be the stereotypical gay guy! Uh, sure. Hold on. Let me call him on, on the mobile phone and then tell him to get on Skype. Go ahead and start continuing. Joseph started walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid of your own hey, can't be. What are you doing right now? 
of your own can't be easy if oh. you ever need to. Let's go. I'll just wait until she's done. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a call later, but Katie's gonna come over for a little bit after five. Alright, bye. He was just asking about Splatoon later. Alright, so I, uh, stopped real quick so that you can continue your call. We'll just cut that out. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising kid, a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Believe it or not, they actually accept me even though I'm communist. <laughs> I, uh, oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a uh, youth. Yeah. You're pretty young to me, but suit yourself. <laughs> I love how he's like, you're pretty young to me, wink. You're pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Now with that, Joseph is gone. He seemed nice! Amanda walks back into the living room. Looking baked as hell! The cookie in her hand. Stop making my daughter a druggie, Scion! Look at her eyes! Look at her eyes! Okay, no. Yeah, look at our character's eyes, too. True. Yeah. True. Shut up, Leon. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be talk taking notes. See? You already... Oh, what? What? Fitting. fitting, fitting. in great. There, thank you. See? You already fitting in great. Where... Where'd those cookies go? Mm. They're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. Out. So, you ate them all anyways. You know, Pops. I guess that makes makes it break time. Any ideas? Okay, let's get some fresh air or take the plate back to Joseph's. Fresh air, because I want to meet a new dad. Oh, man, yep. but you didn't get to meet his crazy kids. I saw a ton of dogs there when we drove... Let's hit the park. I saw... I saw a ton of dogs there when we drove past. Now I get to go back to my Irish accent! Well, you know... Oh, wait. Okay, well, will you help me steal, dog? Forget the last... For the last time, I can't fit a dog into the pockets of my cargo shorts. That's physically impossible. You're breaking my heart, Pops! You're doing the PewDiePie! And then I began to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. I'm surprised you didn't do it again. On days like these, kids like you should be should be helping your dad get another daddy. <laughs> Fucking hell. I hate you, Sia. Why'd you have to remind me? I wasn't gonna do it this time. Oh well. <laughs> Yay! This, this References! Is nice. This place is nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. I'm... I'm totally don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. And your mom. And you see that car over there? Yeah. He's ready to hit and run a few of those kids. Oh my god! We walk, we walk for a while, eventually ending up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs are of all shapes and, si and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over when... Heads up! Should I make him British or Irish? Because it's hard to do an Irish accent. Do whatever you want. Alright. Keep in mind, there's more dads coming up. True. Mm. Here we go. Ouch! I said ouch for a, you. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof! Ah. 
Gorgie, with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around his neck, bounds up to me, wagging his tail. So... Uh, did you throw this at my head? Bark? Yes, I did. He runs around in circles and nudges my, my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Import upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof, woof, woof. You will learn the power of being gay. Oh no, woof, woof, woof. You're gonna meet a lot of dads this, this summer, and you might even fall in love with one of them. How did you know? Actually, no. Do you have. Okay. I did it. Both? Let us just say, I am the genie! No, I'm just joking. Oh my god, this dog more knows more than he lets on. <clears throat> you definitely could have caught that. I go out here in Hawaiian sure, jo jogs over and takes the frisbee from me. As much as he can jog. <laughs> Oh, that's rude, I'm sorry. At least I'm skinnier than you, mate. He is not. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. I think new technique worked last time. Uh... Yeah, I think it was that. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Jean. This is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground rubbing the dog's tummy. Hey. Hey. Huh. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell show sure loves the attention. It's great to see you. To see another father and daughter and daughter are here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a great a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on on a, a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over. This is Daisy. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers K Kar Karamovs. Her teacher tells me that that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? <laughs> Ten. She's the she's a precious younger young, little youngster. Okay, can I just say one thing? This is not to be rude or anything, but that is the biggest ten-year-old I've ever seen. Ouch, Scion. No! I mean, look how tall she is! She's almost exactly the same height as Amanda! Amanda's oh. in high school! She's going to graduate this year and go to college! Look how Wait, tall how, this girl how, is! How tall is Amanda? I don't know. If we go from if, his height... If we go ahead and say... Because if we go ahead and say... Oh, I don't know. Let's say Amanda's like five foot. And right. she's staying five foot for a while. That means the father's like six foot. Right. Now keep in mind, she comes about to his chin here, by the way. And then she is about, if we go from the brow over, she is about to Amanda's chin. This kid, for a ten year old, is tall. Because I am five foot. I have foot. a friend who is like trampled, who like is way taller than me, and I was with him yesterday. He's way taller than me. And it's incredible because, like, we're the same age, but at the same time, he's super tall. Oh, yeah, I know. A lot of people are tall, but she is the biggest 10-year-old I've ever seen. Like, for yep. 10 years old, that's really tall. That's tall as fuck. I can't, I can't wait to see what she looks like when she's when she's a girl and adult. All of a sudden, she's as tall as a goddamn, a goddamn tree. That or she is done growing, and she's going to stay that size. Oh, that would suck at seeing that same size from when you were 10. And All right. not to be rude again, but when you are overweight, it does make it harder for you to grow taller. I've It's a it's a known fact. Anyways. Huh. Whoa! 
my natural dad instincts kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Let's see if we can actually win again. Oh no, it's happening! Cool, Daisy. Tell them about yourself. Do you want me to be Daisy? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there! Okay, okay! This is gonna be funny as fuck. Alright, so I think brag first. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations! Brian loses 10 points. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15 HP! Ouch! Alright, bank again. <laughs> Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an, an old woman with her, her grocery bags. It's extra powerful, Brian, and loses 20 HP! Hmm. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school didn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 points. We're still winning. Okay. Alright. Once we get down there, I'll use the item that heals us a little bit. Uh, Amanda is all... All honor classes this semester. Ten, Brian loses 10 HP. Only 10? Boy, okay. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Even a man kind of, of bristles, at, bristles that at that one and loses 10, 20 HP. Okay, so let's use the item. I believe it's, uh, this one, Child Art. You know, unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing uh, of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute! It isn't very impressive, but Amanda generally appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP, and we regain 20! Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get to the top prize, a canoe! We're taking- oh, sorry. We're taking it out next summer- or next weekend! This is Irish, right? It doesn't Close sound, enough! It sounds like Irish to me. Anyways, how is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. Actually, it's yeah. extra powerful. You lose 20 points. All the 20 we points. Lost all the 20 points we just got. But we are at 35, so we're winning. A few moments, months back, Amanda started volunteering at a homeless shelter for in our old neighborhood. Brian loses 10 HP. You don't say. She t should take talk to Daisy. She actually helped organize a, a food bank here in Maple Bay. Yeah, Amanda, I'm sure you could find s something for you to do. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. No! Uh, break! Item, item, you son of a bitch! There's no more items that are good, by the way. I know this. You still can use a film camera. Wow, most kids her age probably have no idea how. Oh, I'm sure I'd... I'm not sure I know how. I'm sure you don't! Not that I'm any good with my phone camera, either. <laughs> Agreed. You and you Brian- oh, sorry. Brian shared, share a bonding moment. Amanda and Daisy look, at at, look annoyed. Okay. Brag again? We're so fucked. Amanda here did great on her SAT, right, Amanda? Right, Amanda? Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, I did fine. Fine? 
That's great to hear. Use! Ben loses 10 HP! We're so fucked. Did I mention that Daisy's first word was at 10 months? Daddy. I mean, it was potty, but still cute. But maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP! We're at 5! <laughs> you son of a bitch. Trust me, all the other ones are not good. Shoot! Amanda, what else are you good at? <laughs> uh, I am... What? I'm a sparking conversationalist. Oh, yeah. Ha! That you are. Friend, this is Teddy Tree. We're so close, it's neck and neck. We got him on the ropes now. You two seem to have a really good relationship. It warms my heart. Ah, why do they have to be such good loser? Ha, ah, so we did win. Just barely. So I take it you guys are new to a neighborhood. We just moved just moved in. Do you live around here? Oh. Yeah, we live at the cul sac down down next to the coffee shop. Oh, sorry. That was me. What? A cul-de-sac? That's where we live, too! What a coincidence. Not what a cul-de-sac. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are, are a little... Are that little ranch-style house up in the corner. I know that house. Just like ours. Slightly bigger and better l landscape. Does this guy know how to undo... Outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. <laughs> well, I don't I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You you'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely! Bye! I'm gonna steal your dog someday! Better keep him out of leash! Brian and Daisy walk. Further into the park as Maxwell happily trying along in tow. Oh, if you still are dog, I'm going to snap your neck. No. Do you get the, that feeling he was trying to one up us? <laughs> trying, and he was totally g gunning for us. What? Gunning? Yeah. Yeah. yeah gunning. He was totally gunning for us. You really helped. Hold your own, though, which is, like, the best. Yeah, by the way, because Sion clearly doesn't know that term, gunning for us, the term, they were gunning for us. Oh, I got it. They were going full, yeah. Okay. You can explain it, I though, if you have, want. I couldn't have done it without you, kiddo. Basically, it means that they're go, like, they're aiming for you. Like, oh, let's yeah. say you're a YouTuber and you're on a multiplayer game, everybody's gunning for you. Right, obviously. Yeah. I did my best, but wow, I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> uh, shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in a creative horse. Competitive. Or uh, competitive horse st stylist? Studies. Studies, sorry. I have to take over soon enough. There's some hard words, okay? Leave me alone. I know. Uh, it's not too late to major in com in cr horse in horse creative writing. Too close to truth, Dad. And let us never again speak of the fantastic adventure of Sir Horsington, the brave, and the epic in uh, and the epic uh, in. Seven parts by Amanda Pearl. Is that right? An epic in seven parts. Yeah, that's weird. What is that? I'm guessing it's like a seven part type oh, thing. A seven part, a seven part play of just a horse. It got take, it got bought, it got taken, it got stolen, it got killed. All right, we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. 
go take a nap, because that's our only option. All this sunlight is, make, is making me real tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. You slept <coughs> for 14 hours! Exactly. Sleep is important. Make sure you get... Oh, okay. You get Always bring a war chest. What? Always being, bring a war chest. Do you not know what that is? No, no I don't. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps coming up behind us. Gene, bro! Hey! I turn around, and greeted by a familiar face jogging towards us. What should I make this guy's voice? Well, he's a jock, so... Alright, give me a second. And he's also our best friend as well, by the way. Gene, bro! I'm trying to... I'm trying to get a good voice for him. Should I make... There's only so many nationalities that have accents. Just make him a normal accent then, but jockey. Fine, he's he's the out he's the downright American dude. <laughs> Although he looks Korean. All right, let's continue. Okay, fine, Korean it is. <laughs> Craig. Craig, not Greg. I said Craig. It sounded like you said Greg. Bro. Bro! Hmm. Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Hmm. It's been too long, dude. I'm trying to work on that accent. Fuck. This is so hard to do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, You're wow. So you look great. Bro. <laughs> yeah. I cleaned up my act. What accent did I just do? Oh, I don't care, know. I'm keeping it. Cleaned up his axe. Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, Amanda, dude. You, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello there, cute baby. Mm -hmm. Sushi, sushi, sushi. Oh, you. <laughs> Did you just say <laughs> sushi? You have to get an accent. That is so racist. I know, and that's why I did it. I did just the You're best. Me. One. You're really killing me. Okay. I know. I'm trying to die already. <laughs> Jeez. Rachel, last time, last time I saw you, I think you were about about her size. The river. This is River. Say hi, River. Her name is River Song. Dude, <laughs> starts doing the theme from, uh, um, flipping, uh, Doctor Who. Fucking done. <laughs> but just for the joke, so, so, why did you have to make that joke? Because her name's River! I know, I know. River and Song. River I also has. I get, it, I get it, I get it, Scion, I get it. But there's a problem here that uh, you aren't understanding. Did you come with the you same? You challenged route? me. Whoa! Oh! Way to bring in the music from Doctor Who, there, buddy. Is that your da the TARDIS alarm clock, too? Uh, no. My my alarm clock is the TARDIS, but it just makes the noise of it appearing like this. Anyways. Hey, so you know what I just there. realized? What? River Song? Who else has Song in their last name in their RPs? Fuck yourself. Right. <laughs> she picks up her... Her tiny wrist and waves it around. River g gurgles happily. <laughs> Are you babysitting? Oh. No, dude. This is River, my kid. Man, that's, that has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up, up to exams with a bad hangover, and the next we're both fathers. Where have you been, man? Nice. I was working out in California. I relocated 
the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding! Man and I just moved to this side of town. How's Sm Smashly doing? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley's her name. Oh. Actually, she still goes by Smashly, and, uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Cause she smashes through everything! Ha ha ha. Hmm. No, cause she smashes every guy he meet. they meet. Right? Not to be rude to the actual Ashley I know. Love you, Ashley. No, she doesn't. She talks shit about you. <laughs> I do not! She's a sister! It's, it's old news. We got- We just- We take, uh, turns taking care of River and the twins. It's- it's all... Co-patic- I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Co-pendent? Or co No, no. co it. We're just gonna go with co it. I don't know. Twins? You have three kids? Hmm. Hint lies something, bro. Right? Kegstan Craig is a father of three. Mm -hmm. Kegstan Craig. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was my old college nickname. I like a little spit that out, pop. He got it because he lo did love Kegstans. Hmm. I don't think Amanda even knows what the fuck that is. Is that what you do? Oh wait, yeah. It's this thing where you do a handstand on a keg, and then drink from the keg. Huh. Right. It, he was very good at it. Ah, hmm. uh, bro, I hate be- I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I've really got to keep up- up my heart rate. But- brought River along for- for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog- yearly. On January 1st, I promised myself I'm going to jog daily, and for the rest of the year, I've for the rest of the year. But I get but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get to get back into it, dude. You should you should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab some breakfast afterwards. Catch. Catch up. We could, we could do a bro brunch, like o good old times. Right, sure, sounds great. Great, great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Drive gives a little wave, and that's his earbuds back. It puts his earbuds up, bugs back in. And jogs off. No, I'm going to do for Craig. What? Just for Craig, I'm going to change his accent every time he talks. Okay, that's fine. So the next next time he talks is going to be something completely different. That's fine. I can't believe Craig j is rift and has his kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a normal thing people do. I was... It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. Amanda, you're crazy! <laughs> he jogs! He was jogging! <laughs> he's, like, a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. After my nap. Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove a 
some empty boxes out of the way before I can she can sit. Oh, so Scion, it happens anyways. Apparently. Mm. Too bad we're. Oh, yours. Yours. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff back right back into these boxes in a few months. Why? Where's She's going to college, no, bro! No, don't say that! Aw, hmm? uh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. He's just not gonna be fine, okay, God, Amanda? It's not all about you. Just, you're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I'll come back to visit, and I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I am a photography major. You promise? Huh. No, Dad. Obviously, I'm gonna take tons of pictures and never tag you in them. Of course! We're gonna be okay. By... Are, are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll just get a dog or something. Or a, a dog! dog! <laughs> Forget art school! I'll stay for the dog! Is, is that what, what's going to... It's going to take... A meme side zug, a hang chief around his neck, and, and and I get to name it. That's what it's the cause for me to give up all my my uh, hopes and dreams. I am a woman with simple wants and needs. That is the worst thing I've ever heard. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Dan, seriously. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. <sighs> Speaking of college... Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them, and pulls out one, and throws the rest back on the floor. This is from Mick Guardian College, the arts... Uh, of arts and... Design. Design, thank you. Open it! Huh? But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. <sighs> yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. Did you roll your eyes? I mean, you son of a bitch. <laughs> she takes a deep breath and rips open the. Uh, uh, she ripped off the part where it says they accept, they accept her. <laughs> right? We have a eleven. We have a letter opener, but okay. Hmm. Hold my breath while Amanda eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Um, the okay. This is a hard one. The admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah blah blah. Um, we. Mm. Her face drops. We regret, regret to inform you, you that Sorry. you are, uh, unfortunately to offer your admissions to Mick Garden College of Arts and Design. Mm. She throws the letter on the coffee table. Well, sweetie. Mm. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew it sh I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their emissions office told me that they just wanted to see uh, parts, parts? Portraits. Portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're amazing. You're an amazing photographer and I know how much you work you put into that portfolio. Some other schools are gonna want to snatch you up for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Huh? I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Ah. Oh, and before I forget, Emma, all right, and Emma P are sleepy over tonight. Oh. So, you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. You know, or I would choose more delicate 
phrasing, but yes. How long have you know that I conveniently have plans for tonight, so you'll have a new place to yourself? <laughs> yeah! What are your plans? Quick, think of plans! God attended union meeting, go I'm going clubbing. I'm secretly a ma the mayor of this town. <laughs> I so want to say that, but at the same time, clubbing. Which one? Pick one. Uh, can I call a cough, cook a little 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 cough, clubbing, clubbing. Why not? I'm going to put, put on a nice outfit and tear up the dance floor. The hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man, you know, all the all the ones that the kids these days are doing. Those are totally not the ones that the kids are doing these days. Mm. They're doing dabs. Right. But I'm not going to come, uh, or sorry, right, all right, but I'm not going to come pick you up after, if you fall or anything this time, not again. If you pull anything, don't fall. Oh. Whatever, close enough. I'm I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to bed. Uh, what? Go out and watch the game. Okay, so if we go out and watch the game, remember the brooding man from the coffee shop? That creepy motherfucker. Does yeah. Look like Pegasus. No, no, the other oh, guy. Head? We have him. First off, even Adam agrees that he doesn't look like Pegasus. <laughs> by the way. Adam agrees with me. All you want, but I still think he does. He does not. <laughs> but no, I'm talking about the preaching man that was at the coffee shop that has the short brown hair and it looks like kind of like a biker guy. Huh. Okay. Or now keep in keep in mind this this is uh, another thing. If we go to bed now, we can have a fun idea or fun day with Craig in the morning. And I feel like that would be a fun a fun thing for us to like show our viewers because the other one, let's just say, we don't want to be in that situation. Why don't we want to be with Craig? No, 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 no. The brooding man. Oh, the brooding man? Wait. So, question, who is he? I forget his name. It starts with an R. I'm afraid now. How bad is this dude? Let's just say, if we go there, he will want us to sleep with him in his bed. The fuck? All right, right? Then, watch the game. That's... I mean, not, I'm joking. Go, go to, to bed. bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. We can meet him later. We'll, we'll meet him later, and we'll go and date him later. I feel like this will be better. And plus, we get to see more of Craig, because Craig is awesome. But guess what? What time? How long have we been recording? So I well, we'll do it for. We'll wait until we do it for the next day after going to bed. So we're gonna go to bed, guys, and then we're gonna and then we'll see. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna actually go to bed and have it to be the next day, and then I'll save it. All right. So I'm wiped from having fun with with the Emmas. What? I'm wiped. Well, I'm wiped. Have fun with have the fun Emmas. Have fun with the Emmas. Have fun with the Emmas. <laughs> well, we'll try to keep it down. I know you're not you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that even though you're lying straight to my face. And don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh right. Mr. Vega. 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 Yep, I totally remember I'll be there. Awesome. Night paps. Okay, now we're going to bed. And as soon as we get to where we can actually save it. I will save it. Okay, so this Stay is right going to be the fun one. This will be the fun one for the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed Dream Daddy, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody! Say bye, bye Leon. Guys. All right, have you stopped recording?